All right, Ms. Palmer here. I'm gonna go through this um, uh, merge sort algorithm. Okay, so before you go through the merge sort algorithm, make sure you've been through actually how a merge sort works. Um, and you can step through an unsorted list and come up with the sorted list at the end of it. And you've been through your notes on recursion, right? Quite important, because you're gonna be, you're gonna have to use recursion in order to create a merge sort. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna have my quick copper and power. So you should be able to walk away at the end of this and basically implement a merge sort in whatever language you're using okay so how does a merge sort work remember it's a recursive divide and conquer approach where a list of n items is going to be divided into n number of sub lists each sub list is going to be one item in length and therefore it is obviously going to be sorted because it is only one item in length then those sub lists are recombined in order until only one individual sub list remains okay there's an example um, that i used in the previous video I'm going to focus on this kind of chunk over here on the left hand side um, as I um, uh, step through my algorithm. Okay, so remember, uh, well, first of all, here I am, I've got my, um, my function, okay, merge sort, and I'm going to pass it a list in order for the function to, po uh, to um, carry out its, its job. Okay, now remember with recursion, you need to have a base case because if you don't have a base case, then your recursive call will carry on ad infinitum until you uh, basically end up in a stack overflow and run out of memory all right so um here we have um we ha need to remember that we can only need to perform um a split and a sort if the um list item if, the, if there is more than one item in the list okay so here first of all i'm checking to see if the list is greater than one item in length if it is i'm going to find the midpoint by dividing the list in um, by dividing the length of the list in two, then I'm going to create a, light, a right list, sorry, a left list, which is going to be from the zero of element to the midpoint, and a right list will go from the mid plus one to the length minus one. Um, here I am operating, obviously, on the premise that I have a zero base index, okay? I'm then calling a merge sort on the left list and a merge sort on the right list. I'm just trying to be cheeky over here and save a bit of memory, because obviously I'm, um, I have my original list, then I've made a new list, which is a left list, and I've made another list, which is a right list. Then if when I do my recursive call, if I'm gonna pass by value, then it's gonna create another left list and another right list in the recursive calls, okay? So we're just trying to save a bit of memory. Now, once I've done those two, um, I've, I've uh, done my recursive call on the left and the right, we're gonna assume that, you know, that domino effect is gonna cascade down. This is gonna be pause. There's a recursive call on the left list taking place. That one's going to do its recursive calls, etc., 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 and start returning the values back up. Okay. When those things come back up, and then this this function call is unpaused, we need three um, pointers. Okay. I, which I'm going to use for my left list. J, which I'm going to use for my right list, and K, which I'm going to use for the actual merge list in this particular function. Okay. So while I, my as in my left counter is smaller than the length of the left list and j which is my right counter is smaller than the right list i can actually um, start comparing data items and copying them into my main list all right so if left list i is smaller than right list j so if we look over here left list i which is 13 is smaller than right list j also right list zero which is two okay then i'm going to copy that into my list However, that's not true in this case. So I'm gonna go into my else, and I'm actually copying my right list K, which is, so it should be right list, sorry, right list J, okay, which is two, it's copied into position K, all right, which was zero, into my main list. Then outside of those two things, I'm also gonna increment K. So when I go back around again in my loop, imagining I had more items in my list, all right, I would keep, doing that comparison and keep copying items into my list. Now, at the point where I or J roll over to the end of their res their respective list, I then need to decide what's gonna happen next, all right? So you can see down here, for example, when I've copied two and 13 into my this sub list and then the next recursive call up, okay, um, is gonna now take that left list and this right list and combine them both together um well two was smaller than seven so we copied two over we incremented i but then when we compared um left list uh, one 
to right list zero, we realize right list zero or smaller, we copy that one over, that condition at the top was no longer satisfied, okay, because J had now fallen off the end of my um, uh, right list, okay, therefore we now need to go to the left list, and while I is smaller than the left, left list dot length, we're basically going to copy over um, all of the items that are in the left list into the the merged list. Similarly, if right, if J fell off, uh, if I fell off the edge of the left list, then we still had items left in the right list. We want to do a similar thing and copy all those items from the right list into that merged list. Once that has been done, okay, outside of all of my loops I, um, and outside of the if statement, I now have, I return my actual merged list back up the chain. So this is fine because if I'd actually ended up with a list length of one, okay, this condition at the top wouldn't have been satisfied, so we'd skip all of the, um, the, the splitting, the sorting, the combining into new lists, and then just return that list item of length one back up, all right? So this is an example of how you can use um, multi-branch and recursion to do a merge sort. You should be able to go away and try and code this in whatever language it is that you're using, all right? Um, and that's it. Uh, the next one is going to be on quick sorts. Let's see how that goes. Let's try and stop this recorder.